Okay, so um, thanks for joining me. Uh, as you probably know, this is a repeat of yesterday's lesson. So if you um, watched yesterday's lesson and then went on to get a good mark, there's really no need for you to tune in today. So that's absolutely fine if you want to, if you fall into that bracket. But for those of you who were in school yesterday or who um, just want to have a second listen because had, the penny hasn't still quite dropped, uh, you're very welcome. So let me just go through uh, the same the same slides as, as I did yesterday. OK, so we are um, it's our fifth lesson on vectors. OK, um, if you don't get 100 percent, which is possible because this is not easy. As you upload it, just give me a little one liner to say whether you see where, where you went wrong or you don't, please. So um, this 633 uh, on Hegarty comprises four different questions and they're all just slightly different. So we, I will model all four. What they have in common is you are trying to decide whether the vectors are parallel or not. Now they are multi they are parallel if they are multiples of the same vector. So if one of them is say the vector a plus b, then the other's got to be two lots of a plus b or six lots of a plus b or half a lot of a plus b. It's got to be in the same direction. Obviously, that's what parallel means, but it doesn't matter whether it's longer or shorter. OK, so that's really the the idea. So with question number one, OK, now we are being asked whether vector OP is parallel to 9A plus 10B. So we're going to go and work out what the vector OP is. And if it's a multiple of 9A plus 10B, it's parallel. And if it's not a multiple of 9A plus 10B, then it's not. So step one is over here on the right. And all we're going to do, we're going to work out what the vector OP is. So this is our usual um, process from the last lesson or two. Read the question. We're told the length AP to PB is two to three. So I've put the two and the three in my diagram. And then I've got to go from O to P. Now I'm choosing to go from O to P by going OA plus AP. First line of workings. And then I'm acknowledging that AP is two fifths of AB. That's my second line of working. All the time I'm trying to get in a position that I can flip over to writing a line of working in, in the alternative format of little a's and little b's. Now, uh, what is the vector AB? Well, the vector from A to B, from A to B, I can go A to O and O to B. OK, now with it in that final line of blue in that format, that is such that everything each of these three terms I now know in terms of little a's and little b's. O to a is clearly 3a. A to o is just going the other way. That's a minus 3a. And o to b is clearly just 5b. So as I go from blue to purple here, I'm just moving over to the alternative format from uppercase arrow format to lowercase little a's and little b's. And that's what I'm being asked to do, to work it out in terms of little a and little b. Now, from this first line of purple onwards, it is just algebra. So we do the claw. 2 fifths times minus 3 is minus 6 fifths. 2 fifths times 5 is 2. And then I then gather up like terms. Now, I'm going to need to add 3a to and take away from it uh, 6 fifths a. So in order to do that takeaway, I really want to have a common denominator. So I've gone and chosen to convert 3a to being 15 over 5a. I've now got the common denominator. So I can now take away term one from uh, term two from term one, giving me 9 fifths a plus 2b. Now, that's my final answer with regard to what Hegarty is asking me to do to express the vector OP in terms of a and b. Now, what I then need to do is to decide whether it's parallel or not. And this is very much what you would have to do in the GCSE. So what I've chosen to do, because bearing in mind that a parallel vector would have the vector 9a plus 10b, I'm just picking and choosing how to factorize this to see whether I'm left with 9a plus 10b or not. Now I am, because if I take out a fifth, 
If I choose to factorise and take out a fifth, then I'm left with 9a plus 10b. Because a fifth of 9 is 9 fifths, a fifth of 10 is 2. So, because OP is a multiple of 9a plus 10b, it's a fifth of it, I can therefore conclude that OP is indeed parallel to 9a plus 10b. So, that's question one. Now, question two is very similar. It's just they don't actually tell you in the question what you need to be parallel to in terms of little a's and little b's. You've got to pick it up from the diagram. So explain if mn is parallel to ab. Well, ab is 5b. The question tells me that. ab is 5b. Okay. So I've got to go and work out mn. And as long as it's just a multiple of b, then it is parallel because 5b is parallel to 4b, is parallel to 12b, is parallel to a tenth of a b. So I just now need to go and work out what mn is and see whether it is just a multiple of b, because I'm trying to see if it's parallel to ab. So the usual process, read the question, c n n to b is 3 to 2. I'm told that AC is 6A. I'm told that AB is 5B. So that's labelling up the diagram from the question. And I'm just going to speed this up a bit because this is exactly the same process as question one. OK, exactly the same process. However, when I get down to the bottom, I can't factorise that to just get a multiple of B uh, because there's some A's in it. OK, so that is never going to be parallel to 5B or 4B or 6B because it's got some A's in the answer. So I can conclude that it's not a multiple of 5B, therefore it's not parallel to AB. Now, in question three, very similar again, but you've actually got to go and do some work to work out what both of the vectors are. All right, there isn't like one of them is either given to you or you can just literally read it from the diagram. So you've got to go and do some maths to work out what 6x is. That's what I've done. Oh, oh, C, sorry, Cx is. That's what I've gone oh, done and over there in blue. So I've just worked the way through the algebra and come out with Cx being 2a plus 5 thirds b. That's what part one of the question wanted. Over here in purple, I've then just gone and worked out what Cy is. OK, now if this one here was say exactly double that or triple that, they would be parallel. But it's not double or triple it. If I take that first term, how do I get from 2a to 5a? Well, I times it by two and a half. Do I get 4b, 4, when I times 5 thirds by two and a half? No, I don't. So it is not a multiple of the vector. They are not parallel. OK. And finally, question four, this was actually quite straightforward once you understood what they were getting at. You're being asked to work out K, so the number that comes outside when you factorise it, leaving 8A plus 3B in the bracket. So um, you're going to have to go and work out what OP is. So that's exactly the usual process all the way down. That takes me down to 8 fifths A plus 3 fifths B. Now, if I then go and take out a fifth, I get 8a plus 3b in um, the bracket. So seeing what they've asked for, they've asked for you to go and work out what k is. Well, k is clearly that fifth there. k lots of 8a plus 3b, a fifth lots of 8a plus 3b, so k is a fifth. So that's it, okay? Now, this is not... Uh, an easy exercise so don't get too stressed if you don't get 100% in this one we will cover vectors again in fifth form okay but please give it your best shot okay uh, I'll be here for the rest of the lesson so if you so give it a go on Hegarty if you find you're getting stuck at a specific point each time just let me know which question I'll go and have a look at your Hegarty answer and um, I'll get back to you okay guys that's it bye Mr. Withers? Yes, Poppy. Um, in the Hegarty, when yeah. it asks you to answer the question, it says, like, give a reason for your answer. Yeah. I don't get what it means by that. What well, I meant to do. 
Well, over in the comments, so this would be like part two. You've already gone and done part one where you've sort of put down your A and B answer. Yeah. And then they just want you to go and say in, in the little book bit where you can leave a commentary that, yes, they, those two vectors are parallel or no, those two vectors aren't parallel. Uh, they are or they aren't. I don't think it's going to go and affect whether you get it right or wrong, but it's okay. just the next step where you're just sort of finishing off your answer like you would in a real GCSE question because the way Hegarty is testing whether you've got it right or not is just to get you to go and work out one of the um, what one one of the 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 vectors. In okay. the real thing, that would just be nine tenths of the way through, and it would be that final conclusion on whether they are parallel or not, which fully answered the question. Okay, that makes, Does that make sense. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cheers, Poppy. Thank Bye. you. Bye.